All right, guys, welcome to lesson 15, problem set. Now, our concept development video is quite long today, so I'm going to be pretty quick in the problem set, hopefully. So I'm hoping for this problem set to be less than 10 minutes so that it balances out that piece. So, quickly, get my name on it. Get your name on yours. All right, so let's go ahead and give ourselves a workstation here. And it has 5 tenths divided by 2, so 5 in the tenths place. And then I'm going to give myself two spaces to work. And I'm going to divide. Five is not an even number. So when I'm dividing by two, I understand that there's going to be a remainder. So that's going to be rem over here is ten hundredths. Right, we try to pass out all those. And now ten divided by two is an even number. So I know there's got, going to be a remainder. So it should be five in each group. So our answer should be. We're looking at what's in equal each group. Well, that was 2 and 2 tenths and 5 hundredths. Well, let's represent that over on the place value chart. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and I know that this is a 0, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip right to the 5. 5 tenths divided by 2, well, I can take 2 groups of 2 out of 5 equally. And when I do two groups of two, I'm subtracting four. That shows me my one remaining tenth. Now I had to decompose into hundreds. Well, there's no hundreds represented, so I make this show it with the zero. I bring it down and decompose it, so I'm working with ten hundreds. Now ten divided by two, I know that I can have two groups of five, and that gives me all ten of those, so there's no remainder. So our answer, oh, make sure my decimal is represented in the standard algorithm, our answer is 2,500. Let's go ahead and do B together. Remember, if you need to pause because I'm moving too fast, do that. But I'm trying to move through this lesson um, quickly, like I just said before. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a little workstation up here. Five ones, one, two, three, four, five, seven tenths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're having four workstations. That's two and four right one two three and four good got all our four spots our divisor is represented our dividend is up here in the top of our place value chart well we got five ones and we're going into four groups well yeah we can do that one two three four five and then we need to regroup that no well that one's going to be regrouped as ten more tenths so 10 plus the 7 is 17. Quickly, if I'm thinking about my multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 17 it was not a multiple of 4, so I know there's going to be a remainder. So let's see how many remainders. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and there's the 17. So that 1 needs to be regrouped as a remainder. Well, that's ten hundredths. Well, ten hundredths divided by four, if I think of my multiples of four, four, eight, twelve, well, ten wasn't one of them, so there should be remainders. And to do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, well, those ones aren't equal, so I'm going to regroup those, and this is going to give me twenty in the thousands place. Now, if you need to use this, go ahead and do 20 little dots, but that drives me a little batty, so I, I'm going to do it this way. Mr. Stroop's calling me, so hold on, let me press pause. All right, we have 20 thousandths, and we are dividing into four groups. 20 is a multiple of four, right? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So we shouldn't have any remainders. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So let me grab my highlighter and let's look at what our answer is going to be. And our answer is going to be 1, 1, 4 tenths, 2 hundredths, and 5 thousandths, or 1 and 425 thousandths. Let's go ahead and practice that over on the standard algorithm. So... We're first going to divide five ones by four. So we are looking at um, how many groups 
how many can we equally put into the four groups out of five? Well, we could take one. Four, if we put one equally into each one of those groups, we use four. So we subtract four to show the remainder. What did we do with that? Well, we decomposed it. I just wrote my decimal up there so I don't forget at the end. We decomposed it into tenths, and we're now dealing with 17 tenths, which is exactly what we were working with on the place value chart. How many groups of four, how many multiples of four can we take out of 17 equally? So count by fours, four, eight, 12, 16. That's right. So we took four groups of four out. When we did four groups of four, we were left with one remaining tenth, which then means we need to decompose into our hundreds. So we have to represent our hundreds with a zero, decompose it to now start working with 10 hundreds. Well, same thing, 10 divided by 4, we can take two groups of that. That would give us 8. And that would give us two remaining hundredths, which means we need to regroup and decompose into our thousandths. We're now working with 20 thousandths. And just like we had on our place value chart, we know four groups of 5 gives us 20. And that would give us zero remaining. So our answer, our quotient is one and four hundred twenty five thousandths all right so we're looking at six minutes right now let's do these standard algorithm problems quickly um and lesson 16 is all about word problems so we will practice word problems on monday next week so let's just practice these right now um i'm going to do let's do f together and it's asking us to solve it with the standard algorithm so you might want to make sure you're writing small enough in these little squares that you can actually do it. Actually, let's let's make it a little easier for us. Let's let's do the top row after this. So we're not going to do E and F. Don't cross them out because you can write into that. We're going to do the hardest one together. And F, 91 divided by 4. So 9 tenths divided by 4. I can equally take out how many in each of those groups, 4, 4, 8, 12, no, nope, 2 of them. So I can take 8, subtract to find my remaining 10s. I have 1 remaining 10, bring down my 1s, I'm now working with 11 1s. Well, 4, 8, 12, can't do 12, so it's again 2 in each of those groups, which gives us 8. That should give us a new remainder. Of ones, we have three remaining ones when we divide 91 by 4. But now we're going to bring down our tenths. Now we're working with, oh, let me move down just a little bit. Now we're working with our tenths, and we have 30 tenths. So 30 divided by 4, thinking about our multiples of 4 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and 32. Well, 32 doesn't work, so it's 28, so that means there's four groups of seven. And when we have four groups of seven, we actually are left over with two remaining tenths. So let's go ahead. You know what? So I don't forget at the end, make sure you put your decimal there. Um, let's decompose into the hundreds. We're working with 20 hundreds. We know that four groups of five gives us 20. This is why it's so important to know our math facts. So our quotient for this answer is 22 and 75 hundredths. So now I would like you to try solving A, B, and C on your own. And I'll set them up for you. 0 0.9 divided by 2. 9.1 divided by 5. And then 9 divided by 6. Okay? So I'm going to press pause. You're going to press pause, meet me back here in a few minutes when you're done solving these problems. All right, now that you've gotten those done, please go ahead and check your work. You can see I change colors on every problem, so you can see the steps that I took after I step, set up the math problem. So go ahead, finish the problem set if you need to, um, or if you'd like to, but you can now go on to your exit ticket.